This is an awesome question. And if I were to funnel everything down into two words as to why they're not doing this, those two words are going to be too much work. Let me explain. Your body exists and ages following a certain algorithm. When you're first born, your body is in a building mode. It builds all the structures that it needs to have to sustain life and for you to reproduce. As you age and everything slows down and you're not using as much of your muscle and so on and so forth, your hormones and everything else is kind of slowing down and decreases. You reduce somebody's testosterone, they're running into the problem of having low muscle mass and other issues, low libido. When you increase somebody's testosterone, among m many other things, you increase somebody's cholesterol, you increase somebody's chances of getting cancer. Some people with sensitive BRCA2 mutations, for example, on the prostate could get prostate cancer. Or the other notorious thing is that with high testosterone, somebody can have is heart problems, problems with the heart valve. Something that Arnold Schwarzenegger did not admit that he was like, taking, uh, taking testosterone supplements, but he actually did have uh, issues with his heart. He said that it was because of the, uh, his, his, his family history. Now, if you would like to go on a testosterone therapy uh, for different reasons, decreasing or increasing, Decreasing could be something related to if somebody's having hair loss, they take finasteride that reduces testosterone. They run into problems. Now, all of these things, the testosterone replacement therapy or re reduction has to be under a close monitoring of health professionals. And I'm not just talking about endocrinologists, I'm talking about cardiologists and so on and so forth. So you need to have uh, blood tests every single time. This is what uh, bodybuilders do as well. So if I were to funnel everything down into, like I said, two words, I would just say too much work. Perhaps an inability or maybe uh, a cost prohibitiveness of this whole therapy of having you follow through so many doctors, uh, or maybe the inability of the doctors to uh, give you a good assessment on your current condition could be the reason why in your particular country they're not really doing this. And the third thing you have to consider as well is that when the doctor makes an assessment whether or not do you need a certain therapy, they're looking to see if the therapy is going to hurt you more than your current condition. So that really depends on the individual qualities, individual genetics and uh, predispositions and the conditions that the certain person has. I hope this answers your question. If you guys find this interesting, consider following and leave a question down below so I can answer it for you.